In this session, we're going to have a look at how you can store and then reuse text using variables. So they're a great way to be able to store some text in a particular place, um, such as instruction text, and then to be able to reuse that within your project across multiple screens, or even to be able to use it across multiple projects as well. So here I am in my project view, and first of all, I'm going to set up a variable to store our instruction text. So I'll just go up to variables here, the variables tab towards the top left. And first of all here, I just go over and select actions and create new variable. I need to give it a name, so I'll call it instruction text. And I'm using an underscore there in place of a space. I'm also just going to copy that so that we can paste it in the name of that variable into our screens. And now I'm going to add in my instruction text, saying click next to continue. And now click on create project variable. And you can see that that's now in there with the default value. So let's go and use that within our project. So back to the project structure, just go into one of the topics, And here we go. So here we have uh, just the sort of default dummy uh, screen that uh, the GOMO project wizard has created. So I'm going to say, actually, on this screen here at the bottom, I want to add in some instruction text, but I want to get the value for that from the actual variable itself. So all I do is just go to assets and find my text, click and drag into my content block, double click. And now this time, rather than actually typing in my instruction text, I'll select the style there, say initial instruction. Um, here you can see we've got the top tip at the bottom here, which is just explaining the format that I need to use in order to be able to use what's stored in the variable. So I need the double curly brackets. So I just do that, paste in here the name of the variable, close it with the double brackets there, click apply, and now you can see that it's automatically picked up that value that I put into the variable has, and, and has inserted it into the screen here. And so I could do that for lots of other screens within the project. Let's just have a look, check that works. So click Save. Topic Save. Let's just preview that screen as usual just by clicking the preview at the top left. And it just loads it up and we should just see that screen itself here. And so here we go, it's applied the theme, and uh, there we have it, the click next to continue. So uh, I'm, at this point I might say, well, actually I've realized that I want to update that text, actually, because we're going to use this on mobile devices, I actually want to say that, uh, make that say click next or swipe to continue. So to do that, I can easily just go back here, let's close the editor, Go back to our project structure view, click on variables, and this time I just right mouse click on it, the variable there, and select edit variable content. And now I can just edit it, say click next or swipe to continue. Update the project variable. Let's just go back into our topic and see what it's done there. So just open up that screen again. And uh, here we go. And you can see it's automatically updated this piece of text here with our modified instruction. And the great thing there is that I could have used that same variable value on all of my screens throughout my particular project. And just by updating that variable value, in one place, it would automatically be reflected in every screen. So I wouldn't have to go through every screen updating the instruction text there. And in the same way, here we were just looking at storing the variable and the instruction text there for just the project. But if I had some text that I wanted to reuse across multiple projects, multiple courses, I can also do that by, if I go back to my project view, 
Go to shared content. So remember, shared content is where you upload your images and video and so forth into the resources. But also, you'll see we have the variables tab there. And in exactly the same way as uh, we created the variable, which would just be used for one particular project, here I could just select create new variable, and then that would be there in the shared content. And then I could just reference that variable name in any of the courses or any of the projects that I want. And that way, all I'd have to do is go back into the shared content, update what's stored in that variable, and then that change would automatically be reflected in all of the screens in all of the projects where I'd reference that. So again, a, a real time saving method for you to consider using within your GOMO courses.